Hi. Hello. I don't really know what I'm doing. My original plan for this video was to do just a nice little bookshelf reorganization. I was gonna take the books from this bookshelf and move them to a shelf over there, just like a floating shelf, and then move the books that were on that shelf to the bookcase. Basically, I had to move the bookcase that was right here over because I put up some snazzy new lights on this case. And so I had to like move that out of the way in order to get to it. Basically, when I was trying to move it back, to its spot it just literally fell apart fell down books flew everywhere the shelf is broken like there's no way you could put it back together so i went to ikea got a new shelf which is <laughs> right here and we're gonna fill it up however i don't really know what i want to put in it if you've seen my bookshelf tour the case that was right here was filled with my young adult books and i wanted to move my thrillers over here i don't know how that shelf is still holding on i gotta move them and i might just combine everything together maybe in this shelf do like thrillers and maybe dark romance sprinkle my young adult books in here so that is the situation right now it's i don't know what i'm doing Hmm. Why am I out of breath? Before that, I'm trying to decide if I want to put lights on this shelf as well because I do have an extra set. I have it, so I may as well use it, but I also don't know if it'll be like too much. I may as well use it. I think I'm going to put these on here before I fill it with books. One step at a time. It's fine. I'm going to put these lights on and hopefully that won't take too long and we will go through the books. Okay, great. Now that I have just an absurd amount of LED lights over here, we can get to the books. <sighs> now I need to decide how I want to organize it. But before that, I think I'm going to go through my young adult books and all my thriller books and decide which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to get rid of. I'm going to separate them into piles and I will show you which ones are getting the boot. Hi, you're now on the floor surrounded by books. I'm gonna end up keeping most of these, but there are some that I read and I'm just ready to get rid of. Let's start with the pile right in front of me. You can't see it, but there is a pile. First thing on the top, the Inheritance Games. Obviously, I'm gonna keep that. It's new, I haven't read it yet. Then we have Heartstopper, which I did read this first one. I do have all of them. I don't know where they are, but I'm gonna keep them because I haven't read the rest of them. I haven't watched the show either. Then we have Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel and Solomon. I didn't love it. It's not a favorite. It's not something that I will ever likely revisit. So I'm going to get rid of it. Yes. Okay. Don't overthink. I mean, Oliver, this is a book that I read in high school. Couldn't tell you what it's about, but I just have nice memories of reading this. So I think I'm going to keep it. It's the, the Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. This was also a book that I loved. I don't think I need it anymore. Then we have Everything Everything, which I'm going to keep because it's the book that got me back into reading. Then we have uh, the third book in the summer. No, not the summer. To All the Boys I Loved Before series. Gonna keep this. Loved this series. Again, it just has a special place in my heart. The summer I turned pretty. Gonna keep this. Then we have Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Another one of my favorites. I talked about this in my 2022 TBR. One of my very favorite books from high school. So obviously gonna keep that. Okay, then we have Small Town Hearts by Lily Vale. It was cute. It was whatever. Um, I'm gonna get rid of it though. Next stat. First, we have The Sea of Tranquility. This is such an old book and I bought it forever ago. Um, and I still haven't touched it. Couldn't even tell you what it's about. I don't even know if this is actually a young adult book, but I will keep it in hopes that one day I will read it. And then we have a bunch of Morgan Matson books. I have more somewhere, but I'm gonna keep this just because, again, she was one of my very favorite authors when I was in high school, and I just have good memories of reading these books, and I want them on my shelf, although I have never read this one. But I'm gonna keep it though. Paper Towns and Looking for Alaska by John Green. This copy is just destroyed. I'm gonna keep these because these were my two favorite John Green books from when I was in middle school. I still have the receipt from when I bought this. It's May 14th, 2014. Memories. Memories. I was obsessed with Paper Towns, obsessed with the movie, loved Looking for Alaska. Never actually watched the show that came out a few years ago. Maybe I should. Anyway, Breathless by Jennifer Niven. It was cute. It was good. I love this cover, but it wasn't like good enough to keep or anything. So, 
putting that there. Next, we have a bunch of Sarah Dessen <laughs> books. All of her books, actually. I do have all of them. And I'm going to keep all of them because, again, fond memories. She was definitely another one of my favorite authors when I was younger. So I'm going to keep all of these. I mean, you can just tell these are old. Like, look at the covers. Oh, here's a newer one. There's another one. I don't think I actually ever read this one. And another one. All right, I'm gonna keep those two. Next, we have Serious Moonlight by Jen Bennett. I really, really enjoyed Jen Bennett. Other young adult books, but I never got around to reading this. And honestly, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to at this point. Then we have When We Collided by Emery Lord. Keeping this one, this was one of my very favorites. Every Last Word. This one I remember loving. I don't have room for it, then I'll get rid of it. But if there's, you know, a little space for it, I will keep it. Oh, then we have 99 Days and 9 Days and 9 Nights. I used to love these books. If I were to reread it now, don't think I would like it. But at the time, it was really good. However, I think I'm gonna get rid of them. I just don't need them on my shelf. Other two books in the Summer I Turn Pretty series, gonna keep that. Better than the movies, I'm gonna keep, of course. Love this book so much. Then we have Aristotle and Dante Dive Into the Waters of the World. This one I'm gonna keep. It's the sequel to Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. And I never read it, so I'm gonna keep it. Oh, Alex Approximately. I'm gonna keep this. This was one of my favorites. The Sun is also a star. I also have fond memories of this. This is like the one book that I took with me when I went to Europe. And I just like remember sitting on the train and reading this. Probably won't reread the book, but good memories. To all the boys I've loved before. P.S. I still love you. Keeping these. Starry Eyes, another book I loved. Gonna keep this. Oh, another Morgan Matson. Another Morgan Matson. Loved these. Keeping them. Then we have my after books. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. Oh, uh, well, I can tell you for certain I don't need two copies of After. I did get the movie version and the original. I think I'm gonna get rid of the movie version. I don't know where the fourth book is though, but I have After We Collided also the movie version. Don't know what happened to my original version. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the movie version of this, but now I only have the first one and the third one. Um, well, maybe the other two will turn up, but for now, I guess I'll keep these. I don't know. I kind of just want to keep the first one just for the memes. <sighs> Then we have Radio Silence. This is another one that I used to really want to read, but I never got around to it. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. Okay, and then the last three books are just all Heartstopper. Why is why is this different? Look. Oh no no no. I can't believe I just noticed that. Why? I'm gonna have to get rid of them all. Um, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these for now. That is all my young adult books. I have a lot more than I thought. <laughs> my brain is a mess, I'm a mess, but I'm gonna get my thrillers down now so we can go through that. I just really quickly went through my thrillers and chose some to get rid of. Honestly, I'm keeping a lot of them because I haven't read a lot of them. <laughs> there are some that I could probably part with, but since I have this whole new shelf, I have room for them right now. And I'm not gonna like show all the ones I'm keeping just because there are a lot of them. I'm just gonna quickly go through the ones I'm not keeping. First, Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I wanna read this so bad, but I just ordered the paperback. Don't ask why I ordered the paperback when I had this. Well, the truth is I forgot I had this, but it's fine. It's all good. The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. I tried to get into this one. I just could not. I could not get into it. The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. This one I did read, um, but I didn't really like it. The Last Party by Claire McIntosh. This is like a brand new book. Like I just got this in November, I think. Again, I tried to get into it and just couldn't. So I'm going to get rid of it. Hopefully someone else will enjoy this. <laughs> and then finally, I told you it was quick, but the last one is the guest list because I did not like this book at all. And now here comes the part that I've been absolutely dreading and that is trying to find a place for all these books. As you could kind of tell, I like to have them organized by genre. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do. You know what, I'll get back to you when I have a plan because right now I don't and I'm a little overwhelmed by all these books. I'm not gonna lie. I know it looks like I haven't moved, but I did find a solution to my problem. Basically, I did end up moving all my young adult books over there. Well, not all of them, most of them over there. Honestly, the whole 
shelf situation is not much better. I feel like it's gonna collapse any day. You know, <laughs> what can you do? If it survived with all those heavy hard covers on there, I think it'll be okay for now. So that's that. For now, I'm going to organize my thrillers into this shelf. Thriller slash dark romance, maybe? I don't have too many dark romances, but just books that kind of fit that vibe. Like, I feel like I can put my Penelope Douglas books over here because they take up a lot of room on this shelf. I have some Sophie Lark books down there. I feel like that would be fitting to put on the shelf. Just stuff like that, you know? So I think I'm gonna put the thrillers on the bottom and then go up and have more romances up here. Let's start with the hardcovers, okay? I guess we can start with all of my Riley Sager books. These, should I put them this down here or right here? These are the big decisions, guys. These are the big decisions. We have The House Across the Lake, Survive the Nights, Home Before the Dark, Lock Every Door, The Last Time I Lied, and Final Girls, which is actually the first thriller I ever read. Let's see, I guess just put all my Book of the Month books there. We can do Daisy Darker there. We have No Exit, another one of my favorites. We have the Sundown Motel, The Wives by Taryn Fisher. Also read this, also really liked it. Pretty Little Wife by Darby Kane, never read this. People Like Her and Not A Happy Family. You Are Not Alone, Necessary People, Reckless Girls, The Night She Disappeared. All right, now we just have other miscellaneous hardcovers. I think we're gonna stack them this way. Darling Rose Gold, Good Night Beautiful. Ooh, the texture of this is not good. Not good. It's like, I don't know if you can tell, but no, you cannot tell. This like, Matte and grainy. Ugh, do not like that at all. In my dreams, I hold a knife. Real easy. We have Bunny. Look what am I missing? Such a good book. Um, he started it. The last Mrs. Parrish. Two Truths and a Lie. Behind Her Eyes. Also haven't read it. We have Rock, Paper, Scissors. Where's my other Alice Feeney books? His and hers, I honestly could probably get rid of this because I didn't really like it, but I kind of want to keep it just for <laughs> the collection. We can do Behind Closed Doors, Then She Was Gone. These are all books that I haven't read yet, by the way. You still have not read this and I haven't watched the show yet. The Swap, The Wrong Family. Why is this book so tall? Do you see that? Why is it so tall? I don't like that. I know, I know, I know. I'll put it down here with the hardcovers. We have The Couple Next Door, Emma in the Night, We Were Never Here, and lastly, Daughters of the Lake. Look at that. But I feel like that is fitting to put over here. Where the Blame Lies, I think this is also like a dark romance. Beyond God's Electric Idol, not exactly dark romances. They're like retellings, but you know, Gothic Hana. We have There Are No Saints and There Is No Devil. These are definitely dark romances. Still Beating, and we have the Mindfuck series. This one I feel like is definitely appropriate to have down here. Gothic Hana can go there. Still Beating can go there. There we go, look at that. Ooh. I think it might be nice actually to put my Penelope Douglas books up here. Up here. We have the, um, what edition is this? I don't know. It's like the Canadian version of Punk 57. I love that book. Don't judge me. I don't want to hear it. The original Punk 57. Birthday Girl. Oh, this is so good. Um, I'm gonna put Credence at the bottom. Hideaway and Corrupt. And then once I get the other books in the Devil's Night series, those can go there too. We have Tris Six Venom, that can go there. Ooh, it's so satisfying when they align like that. We have these. We have Misconduct and the Fallaway series. I just kind of forgot to talk for a minute, but this isn't perfect. I'm just gonna leave it for how it is now. I have my Penelope Douglas books over here. Over here I have my, oh my gosh, I always forget what the series is called. This is the All Saints High series by LJ Shin, and then we have a Million Kisses in Your Lifetime and Things I Wanted to Say by Monica Murphy. I don't know, I just kind of like put these all together because they are all kind of similar. Anyway, this is it. I am happy with how this looks right now. Obviously it's not perfect, 
I think the only shelf that'll stay the same really is the bottom shelf with all the hard covers. That's that. We're, we're not going to talk about, we're not going to talk about this. I think I'm just going to rearrange this on my own time. So there we have it. That is my new bookshelf. I am very, very happy with it. It's really nice to have the space. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I did now that it's over. But yes, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!